What's up, everybody? It's your man, C. Mill, C from the D, coming at you with everything that's real. Uh, today is a lovely day, but it's been hectic, and I have been running around. I'm so sorry, guys. Uh, you know, just bear with me here. But, hey, it's been a rough day for your mans, but I'm here. You are here. We are here. We are blessed in this mess. Today, your man, C. Mill C from the D would like to talk to you about the envious narcissist. The envious narcissist. Now, the envious narcissist is very dangerous. Do not forget that. Do not forget that. Envy is something that all struggle with. Anybody can struggle with envy. You know what I'm saying? But the narcissist struggles with it a lot worse than we do. You know what I'm saying? Envy is something that all narcs struggle with. Uh, some that envies you can really hurt you and try to get you to get what you have. Excuse me. Uh, harboring envy can make someone betray you, hate you, lie, gossip, cheat, steal, or even hurt you really, really bad. So please be careful with these people. Um... You must stay away from the uh, from these type of people. Remember, they cannot process emotions and they will hide their true feelings. They have no empathy and they have no uh, and they don't know how bad they hurt you or they don't even care how bad they might hurt you. Um, that's not even a thought. That's not even thought of. Uh, envy is something that a narc just is. They are envious and they don't care about anyone but themselves. If they can if they can hurt you very badly and tear you down so that they can come get ahead, they will do it. They will do it in a heartbeat with no problem. They will try to turn everyone against you very viciously. The need for them to be better than you and to have everyone and to turn everyone around you against you is grandiose very very big envy envy and the narc comes from their fear of not being the best or on top or being the top dog or envied by other people for everyone to admire worship and they are very curvaceous they will very much want what you have and will stop at nothing to get it they will view everyone as competition they care about money power and their image if they say they admire you beware because now you are the new target um you now have something they want they believe in keeping their enemies close and they pretend to be your friend out really they have they pretend to be your friend i'm sorry they pretend to be your friend but really they have they hate you for no reason they hate you for no reason um they will push themselves on you and try to get a lot of information out of you um that is why i say guard your energy and set your boundaries uh the narc the narc hates if someone is uh doing better than them they will stab you in the back multiple times and don't care about your feelings or what it might do to you mentally. They will spread gossip, slander, uh, lies, rumors, smear campaign, and try to turn everyone against you very, very viciously. Uh, they want to break you all the way down and don't care about how it makes you feel. Um... And they will try to use you in the process. They love, they love misleading people. They love tearing people down. Beware, beware, beware. The narc will try to steal everything from you. And I do mean everything. Money, time, respect, love, your spouse, your confidence, your respect, and tear down your image. They will tear your image up and they will spread so much lies on you. It's not even funny. Uh, they are all around against you. Beware. 
of the narc. The envy that the narc holds is very dangerous. They can't process emotions. So the envy that they have, they look at you as you are the new target. You are the one they must annihilate. They must get rid of you. They must kick you out the crew, kick you out the family, kick you out the circle, the work circle, anything. They don't care. But they're going to go against you really hard. And if they can get somebody to join in with them, they're going to love it. But they're going to abuse that person too. That person will be the new puppet you know what i'm saying because they tried to use and abuse you at one point so now that you're pulling away and you're waking up and you're having a spiritual awakening they don't like that so now they are out to destroy you believe you me i know <laughs> i know i've had people come against me that i never would have dreamt would come against me in that form that fashion that hard for nothing for nothing because of their insecurities because they don't feel good because they see you moving forward they see you trying they see you grinding they will go hard at you and it will be very it will be something in their head that's that they very much have to do they have to annihilate you they have to get rid of you you are public enemy number one they just don't want to see you prosper. They don't want to see you shine. They don't want to see you feel good about yourself. The envy that they hold in their heart will cause them to do things that they ne probably never would have thought they would ever be doing to you. But that's the definition of a true narc. They can't control their emotions. They can't regulate the inside of them. They can't. Re no, that ain't for me to do against him. That's my guy. That's my cousin. That's my family. No. They don't care. They'll still go against you viciously, hard. And you'll be wondering, what? What's going on? But like I said, they got to beware because of karma and my turn. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? They don't know that you know a lot about them, too. They forget all that. They forget all that. You know a lot about them. So, once again, this is your man, C. Meal, C from the D coming at you with everything that's real. Be a blessing to somebody. Help somebody out. Say something kind. Don't forget to brush your teeth. Say your prayers. Just realize you are a normal person. The only thing that makes you special is being in the grace of God, the grace of Jehovah Jireh, the grace of the Almighty, the Creator. And then that's what makes you special. Other than that, you're not special. Nothing makes you special except for being in God's grace and the grace of the Creator. Don't think that you're special just because you say so. Then you're toxic. Don't go against people because you think you're greater than them. Then you're toxic. Don't backstab people for no reason, especially people that's helping you and that love you because then you're toxic. Don't turn people against people for no reason because you're mad at them or you hate them because they're moving, they're grinding. They're trying to do different things because then you're toxic. Stay in a good place. Stay normal. Stay in the realms of God. Stay down to earth. Don't turn against nobody that has done ex nothing against you, nothing to you. That's super toxic. So this your man, C. Me or C from the D, and I'll see y'all on the next one, man. Hey, until then, y'all stay blessed and bless your family. Hey, thanks for tuning in, man. I appreciate you. And I want to give a shout out to all my new subscribers. And hey, y'all have a blessed one. Hit that like button and hit that share, man. I'll see y'all on the next one, man. In the name of Jesus Christ, man. Peace.